Hey, I'm Jason. Today in the lab, we're going to talk about high torque tools. In a previous video, we compared old school pneumatic with modern DC electric direct drive tools, and we're going to show you that in a much larger torque application. So, the old way was an air impact. Say hello to my Revo friend. Let's check it out. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the difference between an impact tool and a direct drive tool. So, for our application, we have a lock nut. The lock nut has what we call prevailing torque. That means there's a feature on here that actually is meant to lock the bolt in place, but it creates torque during the rundown. That's prevailing torque, and when we use it on an impact, it means we're impacting all the way down. The direct drive tool is gonna to be much faster and much smoother. Let's show you the old way of how we tighten a bolt. We got the old school air impact. We got our decibel meter going. Let's see how it goes. All right, so with the direct drive tool, you might be wondering what this thing is right here. With the direct drive tool, we need to have torque reaction because we don't have the inertia that the impact has on it. So as long as we're set up for that, we can run this right down. All right, so what's this mean? With a direct drive electric tool, we got over 185 Newton meters on the controller. That means with a torque transducer and angle encoder, we have recorded data, which is a big value when you're building a lot of parts. It was smoother, it was faster, and it was a whole lot quieter. All right, we'll see you next time.